Hey guys, Tech Show with In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if your iPhone keeps saying move your iPhone a little lower when you're trying to set off Face ID on your iPhone. So these are the steps you want to follow. The very first thing is go ahead and force restart your phone. In order to do that, you're going to press and release the volume up, followed by press and release the volume down one after another. And then you're going to hold the side button until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo up here. At that time, you'll let go of that button. So I'll do volume up, volume down. And then I hold the side button and make sure you press volume up and down quick. You're just going to press and release one after another and then hold down the side button just like I am right here. As you can see here, I'm not sliding to turn off. I'm just holding that side button. And once I see the Apple logo, I let go of that button. That means the phone is now restarting, is shut down completely and reloading the code. So if there was any issues with it before with the software, it will fix it for us. Now, after you have uh, done that, the next thing, it's going to sound a little bit silly, but if you're doing this is you want to go ahead and first of all, ensure around your camera, it's cleared. If you need to wipe it down with a microfiber cloth, you can, but take the palm of your hand and try to play around with this um, camera by tapping it here a few times with the palm of your hand or by your finger. By basically, when you do this, it kind of helps to level set the the camera that's used on the front under your phone. So you want to try to keep on tapping it a few times like this. Now don't do it too hard. Of course, you don't want to break your phone screen. So you do this a few times and then go into your setting of your iPhone and then again go to Face ID and passcode. And this time after you have done that, ensure that password autofill is turned on along with all these as well. But it's going to be important that you turn that on. And then after that, you can go ahead and reset your Face ID if you already have one. If not, that's fine. And after you reset it, you're going to set it up again. Another thing you could also try to do is setting up an alternative uh, appearance. If you have like a glass or something, you could also create another one. And also you can use mask as well. But go ahead and reset it, right? And then, of course, set it up again. After you do that, again, try doing the tap thing again on the front screen again. That seemed to be a weird bug going around, but it will help you fix that problem. So that's all you need to do in order to fix the problem. I hope this video helped you guys fix your Face ID issue with your iPhone looking to move a little bit lower. And if so, please leave a like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.